Hi, my name is Afi Rule, and I wear what I make. All right, guys, let's talk about completing sewing projects for the fall and later on winter months. Now, if you live in a region of the world that's similar to mine in terms of climate, it's still a little warm outside, yet you can feel the temperature starting to slowly drop. What that means in the context of sewing is that if you haven't done so already, now is the perfect time to start knocking out those sewing projects so that you can have the garments to wear for the cooler fall and winter months. So what I decided to do is I decided to share a couple of pics from simplicity.com in terms of sewing projects, sewing patterns, so that you can get an idea of the things that I work on um, that I feel are great for beginners and veterans like myself, okay? So as you can see on simplicity.com, I decided to filter uh, my picks by three brands, which is No Me, and I believe it looks like kind of BIPOC designers, which I think is a really cool con concept. McCall's, which is actually the brand that I learned how to sew on, and Simplicity. I believe that Simplicity absorbed all of the McCall's brands um, in addition to these other ones. So which is why I'm on the simplicity.com site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a few of these picks and pick ones that I think would be really great for the fall and winter months. So right off the bat here, you're gonna see this jacket here. This looks like something that you could probably make for both fall and winter. So I'm gonna click on this and I love that orange color. But I'm looking at the sewing average and it says, or the sewing rating rather, and it says average. What that tells me is that even if you have more experience like me, it's going to take you probably a little while, maybe a month or more to work through the projects when you factor in, you know, caring for your family, caring for your household, likely working a nine to five or running a business and you still you know have friends and family to keep up with it could take you a minute to complete this project so um if it were easy i would say go forward but average means that there are likely um details that you're gonna have to fuss over in order to complete the project to really get it to look the way that you want it to look so i'm going to back out of that and i'm not going to recommend it okay so now that we have the page reloaded, we're gonna scroll back up to where we were and scroll back down. This is really cute, but again, you know, I see the zipper in the pocket and it's probably gonna be harder to manage for you. So we're gonna keep scrolling and aha, we have a knit dress in two lengths. And what I love about this is that there is diversity of body types. This is obviously a designer that keeps uh, plus sizes in mind. So just out of curiosity, I'm gonna check the options when it comes to the sizes. So I'm looking that it has, and I'm looking and I see that it has 10 to 18, which means that someone my size can make this, but they also have a plethora of sizes for plus sizes, which I think is great. So if you are plus size or if you're my size, this is a great pick for you. And I love the way that this is designed. I like the high waist belt. And something that I think is really cool is this detail right here. This is the neck band. It's kind of like a collar, but it doesn't attach to the entire neckline. It's kind of like a choker. And I think that that's really cool. I love the cuffs um, on the sleeves at the end of the sleeves. I love the, the two links and the belt. And as you can see from the way that the model is wearing it, um, you can either wear this as a nice, cozy, toasty tunic or a dress probably with some tights underneath. So I would say definitely pick this one. And I'm trying to see this. So this is ME2050, all right? I think that's a really great pick. So we're gonna go back to our main listing here and see what else we have that looks like it is fairly simple just out of curiosity i'm gonna pick on this ruche dress i think it's gonna be a harder pick but we'll we'll see actually this is easy so if you want a challenge with ruching and um 
you know, though that type of detail. It doesn't look like there's a lot of pattern pieces, so it wouldn't take you a long time to cut everything out. I think the ruching process might take up more of your time, but if you are up for a challenge and you know you would really want to wear this, I think that this would be a good pick if you have the time to spare to get the ruching details and even the string, you know, stringing everything through. I think that this would be a good pick for you. And actually, I didn't name the name of it. So which one was that? That was ME2049. All right, guys. Something else that you can do is see if you can find fall 2023. See if that comes up with anything. And actually, we have a Butterick catalog. Um, Butterick, Vogue, and McCall, so we can look through those, okay? So their fall 2023 catalog, let's take a look, shall we? So we have the preview here. That's a cute, cute outfit. This seems like it would be fairly easy. So when you go through, that looks like B6965, you look that up and look for the sewing rating if it's very easy or easy that looks like a nice addition to have with your wardrobe throw it over keep you warm and actually i'm going to look into that one to see if that one's easy to make because i love that fabric and i love that cut i think that that would be a good pick and then here we have uh it looks like tights that se these seem like a, a good nice easy project i don't know if the shirt is a a pattern but the pants definitely seem to be I feel like tights and leggings are always a great pick for the fall and winter, so I would definitely recommend that. These actually, these knits seem fairly easy. So this looks like B6959. Let's see if we can click on that. Yeah. That's a very easy pattern. So... I would recommend that because then you have two in one, you've got a dress and you've got a pantsuit that you can mix and match with other things in your, your closet. This is definitely an easy, um, slightly tunic shirt. This one, I don't know you're adding buttons and it has layovers and different things that could probably add a little challenge, but it's worth a try. Uh, this is B6961 if you want to give that a try, but I definitely do like this this shirt right here. I love the color and I love this probably is going to come in different lengths with the sleeves, okay? This is cute. I don't know. Hmm, just looking at the detailing, that could be a little bit of a challenge, but let me see. Let me see if this is, yeah, that's an average rating, so I would not recommend that one, but... Keep going. Oh, these are retro Butterick. I love the retro Butterick. So I think I always think that they're really cute. Um, Butterick and Vogue, the, the retros are always really cute to see like how far we've come in fashion. <laughs> and I think it's I think it's cute that they have them for sale as well. And these are the little baby, um, oh, they're little, little baby outfits. So if you have a baby or you know someone who is bringing a little one into the world, these would probably be fairly easy projects for you to work on. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to see what the sewing rate. Yeah, the sewing rating is easy. So this will likely, you know, again, if you have a little one coming on the way or you know someone with a little one or one that's due in fall and winter, this would be a nice little gift for you to make. It'd be a, a really great gesture. And 1970s. Oh, those are cute. I wonder what the sewing rating is. These are actually easy. So if you're looking for something that's got a retro flair to it, um, I say go for it. All right. So this is the Butterick catalog. You can also look for fall uh, with Vogue and McCall's lookbooks. Okay. So you can do that. And let's see if any of the other brands have lookbooks. Um, it doesn't look like they do. 
at least not for fall. It looks like Simplicity has their summer and spring of 2023, but it does not look like they have their lookbook for fall yet. So if you want to go back um, and not just look at Butterick's, I would recommend looking at Vogue Patterns, um, their, their lookbook for the fall. I thought I saw one for the fall. Yeah, their 2023 fall catalog and McCall's 2023 fall catalog. Those will give you some really great ideas as to um, what would be easy for you to work on for upcoming fall projects. And you have a couple of my picks. So you go with my recommendations and based off the guidelines that I've given you here, you can look through their fall catalogs and make sure that you get something that is easy for you to work with. All right, guys. So that's it for this talk. If you still feel like you need help picking out appropriate projects and finishing those projects, stay tuned because I've got something for you. Okay. Okay. If you need help with your sewing projects, I've got you. I want to give you a three month pass inside of my Where Would You Make Sewing community so that I can provide you with the individualized help you need with your sewing projects. In addition to that, you'll also gain access to the Where Would You Make Sewing Master course and a growing library of sewing tutorials designed for beginners and veterans alike. Go to 3 to claim your pass now, and I'll see you inside.